Hey guys, Piston Slap here. Today I'd like to talk about cops and motorcycles. So, we're out here cruising along, having a good time. Maybe we're by ourselves. Maybe we got a whole group behind us. Anyway, ripping around a corner, come out of that corner and we're 20 over the speed limit and there's a cop. Got you on the radar. What do you do? Well, you got two decisions there. You can pull over and Take your medicine, or you could pin it. I mean, say that cop's in his SUV. There's no possible way he's going to be able to keep up with a sport bike around corners and stuff like this, especially in the straightaways. Just saying this, not it's not something I've tried, so you know, just you know, throwing this out there for a story, uh, you know, just kind of imaginary, say this, so to speak. So, anyway, back to the story. We take, you know, option two. Let's go for it. We're gonna, we're gonna pin it, and we're just gonna ditch this guy. We're gonna get out of that speeding ticket. We're gonna hide somewhere. But, you know, say down the road, that cop catches up to you. You get a ticket. Not only do you get a speeding ticket, but you get resisting arrest possibly How about eluding an officer reckless driving you know and whatever else crossing you know in proper lanes I mean they could stack so many tickets on you know yeah there might be only you know possibly five lines on a speeding ticket I haven't seen one in got seven seven years or something like that but you know, it's endless and how many they can, you know, tow truck's going to come, get your bike. Yeah, I bet that's going to cost you. You're going to spend a couple nights in jail if you're lucky, maybe even a month. You know, or let's just go, let's go real far out there. Let's say, you know, you, your adrenaline's pumping, you're ripping around that corner and you overshoot that corner. You come in way too hot. Then what? You got a busted up bike, you're all messed up, you know, and, you know, all the other stuff in jail let's go with option one pull over take your take the ticket or if you're lucky you know the cop you know appreciates the fact that you did pull over and you saw him and you realize that you were doing something wrong and he just says hey guys you know I'm a fellow motorcycle rider myself you know I can appreciate what you're doing and trying to have fun and everything but we need to keep it safe for everybody else out there on the road you know why don't you just slow it down and have a good day Ta-da, and you move on without, you know, with life. You know, personally, me, as a rider, I'd, I'd go with option one there. You know, I'd just pull over, take it. It is what it is, you know. Uh, anyway, I was just wanting to know, you guys out there, uh, what would you do? You know, you know, run or not? Personally, you know, it doesn't matter to me what you put down there. Uh, it'd just be interesting to see what, you know, what and why. You know, I mean, is there going to be something like totally crazy where, you know, I was smuggling coffee beans from Columbia or something and then, you know, whatever, you know, making a midnight run or something. I don't know. It's crazy. But that's what's down there for. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, threw some music in there this time around. Uh, took a lot of the straight stretches out of this video for you guys did some editing um, hope you like it uh, share it obviously get down there and comment about what you would do run or not pull over uh, maybe even some of you guys that even had that experience where you have ran or haven't you know who knows that um, but uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to get more content uh, also there'll be links at the end of the video for you and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.